was successful. The tyrannical reign of Captain Longpants is finally at an end. The crew and I had served under that rascal for far too long. And many innocent souls fell at our hands. Plus we were well tired and tasting the cruel lash of that cat and nine tail. Grog water down with rancid sea water. Aye. But we'll have no more protection from the good old colonial flag. We're adrift and missionless. Not so adrift as long pants, who is just now sailing the seas in an empty pickle bag. Meanwhile, I have to somehow lead this raggle tackle band of the sea dogs to find the riches that first lured us, sorry, sailors, to see. I, the king's shirt to have branded us as traitors, and will be hunting us, sure. But any battle can swing both ways. If the king's sovereign is no longer to be our bounty, why then it shall be our, our booty. Here's to a life of piracy! How on earth shall we ever catch the Cuttlebone, Captain? It'll be like chasing the wind. True enough, lad. We'll never beat her in a straight chase. But then again, there's ways of harness in the wind. And we shall see the Cuttlebone blow herself right into our nets. You mean we're gonna blow her up? No, you barnacled brain numbskull. How can we blow her up if we can't catch her? First we must watch and learn her route. And then once we know where she's heading... Why then we just lie in wait and let her speed into our trap? Oh, clever. And then we blow her up? Aye, then we blow her up. Good, I like that bit best. This is the world level. Here you can sail around using the A and D keys to steer your ship, and the W and S keys to increase and decrease speed. You can also set your sailing direction by right-clicking with the mouse in the direction you want to sail. Hold down the ALT key to inspect your vessel. You can bring up the map with the M key. Mission targets are indicated with a crosshair symbol on the edge of the screen. Different faction strongholds are indicated on the edge of the screen with a cross and a letter. On the left side of the screen is your character's portrait. The bars along the sides represent your character's health on the left, and the ship's condition on the right. Below the portrait is your current ship. The bars on the side of the ship show the status of your cannons. When you encounter an enemy ship, you can use the Q key to fire port side cannons and the E key to fire starboard. You can also fire by clicking the left mouse button. The toolkit icon, located under your character's portrait, can be used to repair your ship. After you sink an enemy ship, they sometimes leave crates behind which can be picked up. These crates can contain pieces of eight, grog bottles, and toolkits. The action menu can be opened from the rudder located at the bottom right corner of the screen. 
You found a toolkit. This can be used to repair you. Special weapons can be used on the world level by pressing the space bar. Some weapons shoot a good distance. If you hold down the space bar a bit longer, the shot will fire a little further. Hold sail there. You've transported your last governor, and now it's time to visit David Jones himself. Though I doubt you'll be making a return journey. Don't count your crabs before you hauled in your lobster pots. The cuttlebone isn't beaten that easily. Attack! She goes. Let's see if she sinks quicker than all the other ships, too. Too bad she didn't have a governor on board this time. That would have been a fine warning for the rest of the scheming landlubbers.
Well done, O oh fearless captain of the seas. Thank you. 